Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and today I'm going to show you some good old tricks you can do with the help of batch and visual basic scripts. Have in mind that some of the files that we're going to create using Microsoft Notepad may be blocked or deleted by your antivirus software, so in order for some tricks to work, you might have to temporarily disable it. Rest assured, they will cause absolutely no harm to your system, but if you really don't feel comfortable lowering your shields, you can always just skip the particular trick your antivirus blocks and move on to the next one. Also have in mind that this is not an educational video, it's just for fun. So with that said, let's get started. We'll start with the keyboard trick I showcased a few seconds ago. This one's actually my favorite. In order to do it, first open Notepad and paste this code, which will be provided in the document linked on the top of the description, along with the code for all other tricks contained in this video. Once you've copied and pasted the code, go to File and click on Save As. In order for this and every other trick to work, you will always need to select all files on this menu right here. You can name the file however you want, but make sure to give it a .vbs extension. Once you've done that, click Save. Now double click on the file you just created and watch your keyboard lights go crazy. To make them stop, you can open up the task manager and end the wscript.exe process, but if you aren't able to find it, simply log off or restart your computer and your keyboard lights will go back to normal. For a trick that will make another one of your peripherals act weird, paste this code in Notepad and save the file with a .vbs extension at the end of the name of your choice. Again, always make sure to select all files in this menu. This one will make your optical disk drive continuously open and close. To make it stop, again, you can end the wscript.exe process in the task manager or you can log off or restart your computer. Now, if you do something wrong, you might get an error message. And error messages can be very annoying. Unless, of course, it's a fake error message with custom text that you created using Notepad. To do that, first you want to copy this code from the document provided in the video description and paste it into the text editor. Replace your message here with your own message and your title here with your own title. Be sure to leave the quotation marks. Name the file something like error, give it a .vbs extension and click save. Double click on the file and you should get your very own fake error message. You can customize the buttons by replacing 0 with one of these numbers and you can also get a different icon by replacing the number 16 with one of these. You can also get a different icon by replacing the number 16 with one of these. Whoa, deja vu? Must have been a glitch in the matrix. For this trick, paste the presented code into Notepad and save the file with a .bat extension. For a different effect, try using this code. Here's one that may not be as interesting as the other tricks, but actually may be useful for some people. All you need to do is open notepad, type .log in the first line and save the file as a regular text file. You don't even need to give it any special extensions. Now every time you save changes in that specific file, Notepad will add a little log with the time and date. If you're looking to kill some time, why not use Notepad to create a guessing game? Paste this code into the text editor and save the file with the .bat extension. Then just double click on the file you created and guess away. If you paste this code in Notepad and save the file with a .bat extension, you will create a password generator. When you run the file, you will get a command prompt where you can choose to generate 1, 5, or 10 passwords at a time. Here's one trick I'm sure you'll find good use for, especially if you share a computer with other people. Create a private folder. To do this, first paste the presented code into Notepad. Then you want to find this particular line and replace the word password with a password of your own choice. Make sure not to change anything else in the code. Finally, save the file with a .bat extension. Double clicking on the file will create a new folder named private in the same location. Now would be a good time to move all your private stuff into the folder. When you're done, you're going to want to hide and lock it. To do that, double click on the batch file and type y in the command prompt. 
you'll notice the folder disappeared. To bring it back, simply double click on the batch file again, type your password in the command prompt, hit enter, and your folder will reappear. Before we wrap this video up, here are two more tricks you can try. Paste the presented code into Notepad and save the file with a .vbs extension. Double clicking on the file will open up a dialog box in which you can type text. Clicking OK or hitting Enter on the keyboard will make your computer speak whatever it is you typed. I know what you hid in that folder you little perv. And, for our final Notepad trick, try this. Paste the presented code into the text editor and save the file with a .bat extension. Double click on the file you just created and call it a night. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and as always, stay strong.